Oh, mate. Doing a little bit of work on my topper now. You can tell the difference kind of the uh, color. It's what I've been using the uh, truck bed coating. And it's pretty much pretty good and it looks like it. Especially when I got a little air bubble inside the line, you can call it that. That's all right. Everything else looks really good. I ran out. I used up two cans so far. I'm gonna do a little bit of touch up around the siding. I gotta get the front right here. And a little bit of touch up right down here on the side. And then I already got the uh, window silicone, back window silicone. That way it'll stop leaking on the inside. So once I get this done, you can see where it cracked. This weather cracked from, from where it was sitting at the junkyard for a long time on top of the truck. But that's not going to stop it. This could be a real nice truck topper. Now we got all that chip part where it's just chipped out, fueled up with that. <clears throat> and tomorrow I'll take it outside under the direct sunlight and do a little bit more touch step on it and then let the sun dry it out. And I'll take these tapes off. Alright, I've got the, uh, everything's painted, got the uh, new weather stripping on the bottom, you can tell by the old one, how it came off, real easy, and it brittle, that shows how long it's been on that thing. Now, the only thing I've got to do is wait for the, or the gas shock to hold that back up. I made a temporary one for right now. i got a friend of mine who got one of the pipe that I made. Take this side, you got your high setting and your low setting. That goes on your uh, glass. <laughs> Oh, that way, because on this side, you'll put it up and hold the glass open. And I seal it around everywhere on the, the windows to keep the water out so it doesn't leak in there anymore. <coughs> so now I'm ready to put it on my truck. I'm going to use the one that I got from the uh, junkyard from another truck. You know, even I took a car wash, wash all that grass out there. You got know, this part straightened out. Now, I'm ready to do a one-man loading. Yee, yeah, a lot of fun. Help me, help me, help me. Okay, okay. Lift that up on there? Yeah, put it right on there. I get the new tape under it and everything. Okay, right there. That's it. What you got? All right, all I gotta do is just get everything lined up. Okay. Thanks, Bob. Yep. Topper is lined up and secured. They usually take about four of them, but I just put the sixth one in the middle. So I got six on there for fine. There we go. 
locked up. Perfectly good now. Even though it's got a little cracking around the bottom, but that's normal. At least it keeps the rain out. Well, thank you here. Mind that. This needs to go in a little bit more, but I'm going to put weather stripping on it. There. Since I don't have the key to this, I might order a key lock for it. I don't like to lock this up. I just put a tight lock on there for now. Yeah, and this is double locked. So that way they can't I screw it out. Well, that's what we got. See ya, mates.